Okay, we will go on to introduce each part of the ventilator. This one is the main unit of the ventilator. This one is the humidifier, the trolley, and the air compressor. This one is the pressure gauge of the air compressor. And this one is the gas outlet for the air compressor. This one is the timer for the air compressor. This one is the switch for the air compressor. And this one is the power cable for the air compressor. Switch, power cable, fans, battery, and gas supply for air and oxygen. The pressure for the gas supply is between 280 to 600 kPa. But for the safety consideration, we suggest the gas supply pressure is between 315 to 500 kPa. Okay. Nebulizer, oxygen sensor, inspiration port, and expiration port. Switch for the humidifier. And this one is to adjust the temperature. Pay attention, we need to put the distilled water firstly, and then we can connect the cable and adjust the temperature. And there is a minimum and maximum level for the distilled water. After installate all the secrets, we can use the machine. Firstly, we need to turn on the machine. The switch is in the behind. After connecting the tube, we can use the machine to the patient. Firstly, we need to turn on the machine in the behind the switch. And then there is an instruction to ask you if you want to enter the pre-use test. You can accept. Also, there is another way to enter the test. It's in the standby interface. We can also see there is a device secret test. We can also enter. It's the same test. And there's two kinds of the test. One is the device test to make sure the machine there is no problem. And the other one is the patient secret test to test if the secret is no problem. We will go firstly the device test. Then there is an instruction to tell you, please connect the test tube and the gas supply. It means you need to make sure the gas supply for the oxygen and air is no problem. The pressure should be between 218 to 600 kPa. But to make sure for the safety, we suggest the pressure for the gas supply is between 315 to 500 kPa. After check the gas supply pressure, then we use one tube to shorter the inspiration part and expiration part. We can use the shorter tube to shorter the inspiration and expiration part. Like this. And then, price confirm. The machine will do uh, by itself the test. And because right now in the office, we, are, we don't have the oxygen. So we have closed the oxygen sensor test. But it's very important for the doctor to do this test when, when they use in the hospital. When the doctor connect the oxygen gas supply, the test for the oxygen sensor will be done automatically. And then there is a instruction about the battery test. It tell you please disconnect the AC power supply. It means you need to disconnect the main unit AC power. We just disconnect the cable and then wait a few seconds and then it will tell you please connect AC power supply. Just connect.
then it will pass. We can see about the test, the green part, it means pass the test, and the red part, it means fail. And this one, it means skip. After we do the device test, we will go on with the seeker test. To do the seeker test, also press start. And then there's an instruction tell you, please block the white piece. It means you need to connect the tube as the normal use and then use your hand to hold the white piece like this. Connect the tube as the normal use. And then use our hand to hold the white piece. Press confirm. It also will be done by itself. It's to check if there's some leakage for the secret and if the secret is okay for the patient. Okay, now we can see all the tests is passed. It means right now the machine, there is no problem and you can use the machine to the patient. We can just exist and then go on to the interface of the standby. To use to the patient, right now we use the airbag to act as the patient. And then connect it to the arm. After we finish the test, we can use the machine to the patient. After we finish the test, it means right now we can use the ventilator to the patient. And to use the ventilator, firstly, we can see in the patient, there is a new patient. We can change, we can choose the type of the patient. If the patient is an adult, paleotic or neonat, or if it's a male or female, and the height of the patient. To change the height of the patient, firstly, we need to select and then use the knob to change, to adjust the parameter. Then don't forget to knock the, knock the knob to confirm. After that, the machine will give a FBW of the patient. Then the doctor can choose if, the, if he need to uh, invasive or non-invasive. Then confirm. Then the ventilator will give a suggestion permit of the patient. But this permit, pay attention, it can't be used direct to the patient. The doctor need to, according to the patient situation, to adjust the permit once again. And now we can see the interface of the ventilator. This part is the model of the ventilation you have select. And this part is the alarm part. This part is the information of the patient. You can see it's the adult and the PBW. And this one, it means invasive and the date and the time. Right? And to change the model of the ventilation, we can change in the models. We can see there is almost all the model of the ventilation in our R30. For example, VCV, PCV, SMV, VS. Uh, for example, we choose to PCV. And then it will tell you to adjust the setting parameter. To adjust, the, to adjust the parameter, firstly, also you need to select the parameter you want to change. Then use the knob to change the parameter and confirm. Click the knob to confirm. After adjusting all the setting parameters, then we will go on with the alarm. In the alarm, there is the maximum and minimum alarm. 
the doctor need to, uh, according to the situation of the patient, to change the alarm maximum and minimum situation. And also there in the alarm, there is an alarm log. It will record 100 events of the alarm. To adjust the, the alarm parameters also, first, confirm the parameters you want to change. Then use the knob to change and confirm. After the doctor choose the model, choose the control parameter, and setting the alarm, you can use the ventilator to the patient. Just press stand, uh, start. Now we can see this part. This part is the monitor parameter. You can, if the doctor want to see the full monitoring parameter information, you can also see in the monitoring. There is the completely uh, monitoring parameter. And in the change, you can see there is a maximum 72 hours change information. The doctor can change the parameter he wants by the knobs and also there is a chain graph and chain table. About the system, about the system, you can see the software region, the runtime gas supply pressure. The gas supply pressure we suggest between 350 to 500 kPa. And the barometric pressure, the temperature and the optional functions. About the setting, we can see if you want to turn on or close the oxygen monitor or CO2 as PO2, this two is the optional function. And also the language, the unit of the CO2 of the pressure, and also the load of the machine. And in the date, it will show you the date, and you also can change the date information by yourself. To change the loop, if the doctor want to see the loop of the patient, you can just touch this one to see the loop. And to change back, also touch. About the bottom, the first one is the alarm silence. It means if there is some alarm, if, and you can press the alarm silence to make the alarm silence two minutes and the alarm reset, it will reset the before alarm. It means after the, uh, after the alarm happening, the machine also will show you that before there is an alarm, you can reset that alarm like this. And then the lock is to lock the screen. You can see also there is a sign. This time, at this time, you can't change in the screen. And also click once again to unlock. Freeze, it means to freeze the waveform. The doctor can see the parameter. And also click once again to, to get back. And the nebulizer, you can, you can open the nebulizer function and you can change the time of the nebulizer by the doctor need and start press start. About the inspiration hold, it means if the doctor use the inspiration hold, the machine will give the patient all the time do the inspiration, maximum 10 seconds. And for the expiration hold, it's, the, it's similar. If the doctor press this button, all the time the ventilator will do the expiration, maximum 10 seconds. And for the manual, Inspiration, it means the doctor, the doctor can control one time for the breeze. We can see the pink waveform, it means controlled by the doctor. And 100% oxygen, it means before the suction, you can use this function to protect the patient. And you can change, you can adjust the percent of the oxygen by the knob. Also, don't forget to click to confirm and press start.
and to stand by the machine, just press standby and accept. The machine will go to the standby interface. About the calibration, we can enter the calibration in the system. In the system, we can see the calibration selection. But pay attention, the calibration only can be used in the standby model. It means if you work the ventilator, you can't enter the calibration, only in standby model. And for the first calibration is the service model. It's only for the engineer. For the pressure sensor calibration and the flow sensor calibration, it's used when the zero of the waveform of the pressure or the flow is unnormal. You can do the, these two calibration. To do these two calibration, firstly, you need to take off the tube and then make sure there's no flow direct to the pressure sensor and the flow sensor. Then price the pressure sensor calibration or flow sensor calibration to start. The system will do the calibration automatically. To do the pressure sensor calibration and the flow sensor calibration, we need to take off the tube and then make sure there's no flow direct to the sensor. Then price. The system will do by itself the calibration, also the flow sensor calibration. And for the oxygen sensor calibration, it only need to calibrate when the machine come to the office. It means the first use of the machine, you need to calibrate the oxygen sensor. Or uh, sometimes you change the oxygen sensor, you also need to calibrate the oxygen sensor. Or sometimes the FiO2 monitoring parameter is abnormal, you also need to do the calibration. To do this calibration, you only need to click and then it also will be done automatically. And about the touch screen calibration, you only need to do when the touch screen is work at normal. To do the calibration, it's very easy. Just click the touch screen calibration and you can do the calibration. Pay attention, when we do the touch screen calibration, you better use touch pin. But if you don't have, you also can use the normal pin, but without the sharp part.